Hello friends and family, this is Veronica. Thanks for joining me for my daily scent of the day video. It's Saturday here in Central Virginia. It's gonna be a really warm day. We've had a lovely morning so far. Lots to do, lots of errands to run, videos to record, closets to clean out, uh, and all of that. I'm wanting a happy, fresh, light fragrance. By the way, I had the same desire for a fragrance last Saturday, and you'll recall that I chose Jill Sanders Sunlight and had a bad day with that. <laughs> you can go watch the, the uh, week in review video to get the lowdown on how that fragrance turned out, and it's now sitting in the giveaway or sell pile um, as a heads up. So today's fragrance is a winner, I'm happy to say, and it is Happy Chopard Lemon Dulce from Chopard. Love this bottle. It's actually clear, and the color that you see there, lemon, is the, the color of the actual fluid with this turquoise aquamarine colored top here. I like the bottle a lot, uh, the gold printing on the front. And why do I tell you about that? Because bottles are important to me. I like the presentation to be just as exciting as the fragrance itself. This is one that I had looked at for a long time, if you saw the haul on this, and put it in and out of my cart because the reviews were mixed. Like most citrus fragrances, the juicy citrus part of this doesn't last forever on the skin. It's a rather sort of fleeting um, opening, but beautiful nonetheless, and one that I'm happy to reapply because it is rather pretty. This is a citrus fragrance through and through at the top. And then it settles down into something a bit different, which I'll share in just a second. The main notes that stand out to me at the top, I get obviously a heavy lemon in here, orange and ginger. So it's a really bright, effervescent, bubbly kind of opening. I like it a lot. It's happy. It reminds me of sunlight and it reminds me of being young and being really into bright, light, citrusy fragrances. In the middle, you get, uh, at least I get, a hint of the mango, some apple and cucumber, but you still get the citrus in the middle as well, although it's starting to fade off. I would say that that beautiful citrus opening probably lasts a good maybe hour or so, and then it starts to fade off and you get more of that mango, apple, <clears throat> cucumber combination, if you will. And then in the base, it's mint and woody notes. So um, it does turn into something a little bit like herbaceous, a little woody. You still get some hints of the citrus and some of the notes from the middle. So it's still a nice fragrance in the end. This is one that smells better in the air than if you stick your nose right in it. It's nice if you put your nose to it. I'm not saying that it's not, it is nice, but it will smell slightly chemically um, if you get too close to it. And that might be a little bit off-putting for some people, but rest assured that as it dissipates into the air, maybe dissipate isn't the right word, um, floats up into the air and creates the scent bubble around you that it's pleasant, it's nice, it's a happy fragrance, non-offensive. I can't imagine people around you not liking this smell. And it's one that you can happily, I think, overspray without, um, you know, gassing out those around you. Happy, bright fragrance. Look forward to wearing this today. I am probably going to have to reapply after our maybe three or four or so. On Fragrantica, a reviewer said that it's moderate uh, longevity and moderate sillage. So we'll see. Later today, I will be doing a week in review where I share with you the fragrances that I wore this week and give you sort of final impressions of them and do just a little bit you know, fun award ceremony, um, fake one, obviously, <laughs> just for your entertainment purposes. So I hope you all have a super productive day. I'm already smelling lovely with my lemon dulce on, and I hope that you are smelling it too. I'll see you later today. Take care.